as he exactly does. Hey YouTube, how's it going? This is Gamester81, and today's episode we're going to take a closer look at the Retrod. This is an interesting device, so let's take a closer look at it. What exactly does it do, and why would you want to pick up one of these things? Let's take a closer look. Guys, here it is, the Retro. This is a device, very interesting gaming device, sent, sent to me by my good friends at StoneAgeGamer.com. I'll put a link to the website below. They sent this to me, I wanted to review over it, and definitely plug their website because it's a great website and I pick a lot of great stuff up there. And it's one of the exclusive sellers of this item. They're based in the U.S., however, they do ship international at a very decent rates. So check it out if you guys like what you see and want, are interested in getting one, check them out. Link is below. But this is the Retro. It's a very interesting uh, device. It's not necessarily a console. There's no controller plugins or anything like that. Obviously, you plug in carts, okay? And what carts you do plug in, it takes both Super Nintendo games and Super Famicom games, which is huge, and takes Genesis games and Mega Drive games, so it is region-free. And they both plug in away from each other, facing away. These two games are some of my favorite games, Final Fantasy II and Turtles, the Hyperstone Heist. For the Genesis, I think these are must-haves for the system. So I want to show you some examples of these games. And what it does, it has. A, if you're wondering what this thing's sticking out of it is, it's a USB port, and you plug it into your computer or laptop, and it basically what it does it copies the ROM file on your cart, and you can actually load that into your computer. Okay, but it doesn't only do that. It doesn't only copy the ROM. It also copies the save file, and so you can actually, for example, you can take Final Fantasy II, you can actually copy that ROM and save file put it onto your computer, play it on your computer, emulate that on your computer, save it through on there, and then copy that save file back onto this uh, this cart here, which is huge, a big advantage to that than uh, regular ROMs that you can download online. Okay, so it's a big advantage. So what I'm doing with all my games, for example, is I can, I'm taking all my games and actually uh, saving them, uploading them to my computer, and then using them as a kind of a data file for storage, for backups, okay? Now this thing, in case you're wondering, retails for 90 US, 92 US dollars. Now that might be sound kind of steep to a lot of you guys, uh, especially considering a lot of you guys might argue, oh, you can buy, you can find emulators online fairly cheap and, and ROMs online for very cheap and et cetera and so forth. And that is true. However, a lot of the websites you download ROMs at, you gotta be very careful of uh, viruses. Uh, and this is definitely a legal way of doing that. Uh, and there are, at this time, there are only two systems, or I should say four systems because you can do Super Famicom, whatever. But these are the only two that you can actually do this for. However, I was talking to the guy who, who started this, and this was made in Germany. I'll say this much for this thing. This thing is very well built. It's not like made in China or anything like that where you have to worry about it breaking on you or anything like that. It is very well uh, built. The only complaint I have on it is for the Super Nintendo games. Uh, they're kind of loose. I mean, the plug-in, you got to just make sure it's flush. Uh, the Genesis cards plug in are fantastic, and they actually just snap in there very nicely hold, but you kind of have to be careful with the the Super Nintendo games. Same thing with the Famicom, Super Famicom games. But the, I was talking to the creator of this. He's actually a, a student, uh, lives in Germany, and all this was built by him, and, and it's pretty amazing. I guess it took about seven and a half months to design for this from start to finish. He put a lot of work into this, so when you do purchase this, you're definitely giving back to uh, fellow gamers. And he is the company. He is it. So it's just him making these things. So it's pretty impressive. And I guess he's, he also mentioned that over 350 games have been tested. And they've all worked. So yeah, that, that's also cool. And he's working on expansions. He's working on TurboGrafx-16. He's working on even Virtual Boy. Uh, game Boy is in the works. So even Nintendo 64 he mentioned. So that that's huge. Um, you know, So this is a cool idea. Uh, what it comes with, the Retro, and if in case you're wondering, it comes with obviously the no games are included. It comes with the, the unit itself, USB connection, and it comes with the instructions. But the thing about this thing is, guys, it's very foolproof. I mean, this thing is easy, easy to catch on. And in case you're wondering, uh, if you do want to play it online, you can also find these things very re readily available on Stone Age Gamer or other websites. Dami has it on his website as well. And these things retail for about 15 These are just USB uh, controllers, which is cool. You can just play it on there. So let's see, see this thing in action and see how this thing works uh, loading onto the computer. Okay, okay I'm going to show this example using XP, Windows XP. However, this will work on Windows 7 and it will also, I believe, work on Mac. Uh, and here I have the retro of the game. Both games are plugged in and they're nice and flush to the system. What I'm basically going to do, this is how easy it is, guys. I'm going to take the USB and I'm going to plug it in like so. It should detect 
You hear that? It's going to detect a storage device. Bam. And the ROMs pretty much pop up like so. What you got here is you got your Final Fantasy 2. This is a, the SRM is a save file. Uh, and then you've got your, uh, this is the retro itself. And you got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. There's no save file in that game, so there's no save file uh, ROM. So what I can do with these then is I'm just going to drag them over to, uh, let's see here. Go to open up my computer. I'm just going to drag them into uh, my C drive just, just to save some time. We don't need to copy this to the turtles. Okay, now if this doesn't pop up right away, you can also go to my computer and you can go to, uh, let's see, you can go to my computer and you go to retro, it's right here, storage devices. And it's right here. Okay, so those, that's where you can find it as well, okay, in case that doesn't pop up. Now what I'm going to do next, this is, gonna be, this is pretty cool, guys. I'm going to actually take these games out. And I'm going to open up an emulator. Games are out. I like the SZNES. W is what I usually use. Should see, click on the C drive. I should see Fun Fancy right here. Let's see if it works. Classic game. And it even has my save files on there too, which is cool. So I have like a 43 hour into it. Classic, it works. Okay. Let's X out of here. Must have game, like I said, for Super Nintendo. Awesome game. Now we're going to open up my uh, Genesis emulator, which I use Gens. I mean, look how easy this is. That's why I love. It. I mean, this is one thing about this th item, guys, is very easy to understand. I think the downfall, obviously, is the price. It says pretty steep, 92 bucks. Uh, but I must say, this is a, a, a. I'm blown away on how easy this is. Okay, you're going to open ROM. There's the turtles right there. Open it up. And voila. It's it another great just beat em up game. Definitely kind of like the arcade. Anyway, it works perfectly. I'm going to show, show you how these games can transfer to systems like the GP2X. This is a whiz. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up those ROMs. They're sitting right here, okay? And I basically the since this system runs off of SD cards, so I'm going to go open up. There's an SD card right here, and these are different files. So we got Super Nintendo. I'm just going to drag my both Final Fantasy files, Final Fantasy two files, in there like so. And then I got my Genesis, where my Genesis right here. I'm going to drag that in like so. Okay. Next I'm going to do is take this SD card and plug it into the Wiz. Takes a couple seconds to load. Can you go to the launcher? Let's open up Super Nintendo first. Actually, let's go back. Okay. Let's go back one. And then there's a file right there Final Fantasy 7 or Final Fantasy 2. 7A0F. That's the same file. It's right here, okay? Just so you know, I'm not cheating the system here. And does it load the save file as well? 
Bam. Right there. Has a safe altitude, which is really cool. Okay. Let's reset that. Okay, going back to the launcher. Let's go to Genesis. Pico Drive, Load, ROM. Okay, Teenage Mutant Ninja 2F85. Teenage Mutant Ninja, that's the same file right there. Okay, it's a bin file. So theoretically, I can I can play Final Fantasy 2 on here, save it, then upload it back to my cart to play at home, which is pretty cool. And it plays perfectly. Anyway, you guys get the idea how this thing works. Uh, thanks for checking it out, guys. There's also a, a website I want to refer you to. It's called uh, retrode.org. It's the main website for this kind of unit. So uh, check it out. And thanks. Let me know if you have any questions. Take care. Until next time. Bye.